but you, you gave him an assist. All right? You had to accept the rest of those shots. This is what I call working the radius. Okay? You want to move more in a circular motion, more than the straight, straight back, straight in. Yeah. And that's where a lot of guys mess up is they play this gladiator role to where they just rushing each other and fight. All right, so then it comes down to whoever's the strongest and the biggest guy wins. If we leave it up to that, we shouldn't even have fights. We'll just have waiting. All right, so the strongest guy, biggest guy, you win, there's no need to fight. And we're going to sit here and just test each other's strength. All right, the answer to that is always answered on the scale. All right, so here, you want to kind of use your head and understand you can think your way through any fight. It doesn't matter how hard this guy hits, it doesn't matter how fast he is, it doesn't matter how mean or freaking aggressive he is. If you can actually think your way through the fight, you have a shot. You have a true chance of winning this and taking him out. Because once he, most aggressive fighters hang their hat on being aggressive, okay? They don't hang their hat on being skillful. They hang their hat on being aggressive. I'm meaner than the average guy that I fight. And they sell out to that, okay? So I have no problems with the guy being in front of me, he's being tough and he's mean and aggressive. He can have that, you know? Is that an advantage? No. But if it is, it is an advantage to him, then by all means, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make him think otherwise until it's time to get down, all right? When you move, a lot of times if a guy throws punches at you and he's moving forward, we move back. Now, the reason why we do that is because when we're standing in here, there's no movement, and we're standing here, we like this feeling. We like this feeling. That's the, that's the spot that we want to be in, and we like it. So when he disrupts that and moves forward, we try to get it back. But he's taking it faster than we can get it. All right? He's going to fight more aggressively, more effectively, coming forward than you are running backwards. You know what I'm saying? I have to stop his aggression. So when he gets aggressive and comes forward, I go on a circular motion. Okay? Because the openings are not right here. They're here and they're here. Okay? What we do is we fight our offense over our opponent's offense. We are looking at the target and we never see the weapons that are faced, that are forcing their way right into us. You got us? So we, we go straight for that target, and then when we start getting hit with shots back, we don't know why. It's because we ran right over the top of them. Okay, so if we're sitting in here, if I want to land my jab, it's not going to land here. Not without putting me in trouble. So when we're standing in here, I have to find the opening. So the opening to that jab would be here, not right in front of me. You understand? Because if I go straight at him, he can just close his eyes and come right back at me. You're gonna get hit with some ugly shots by running right over this guy's offense. Because nobody gets used to taking shots. They get tired of taking shots. So you can be landing shots all day and if you realize, Doug, I'm getting hit anyway, then I'm gonna swing back. That's it, I'm getting hit anyway. He is going to fire back, all right? So don't think just because you landed some nice shots coming over the top of him before and he doubled over, that he's gonna to continue to double over. He's like, I'm getting beat up anyway. So I'm just going to settle down and punch. And you're going to run into shots that you do not see. So come offline from his offense. Okay? So when we say work in the radius, this guy comes forward, you are coming out to the side. Okay? Making your balance focused into your hip, not your shoulders. By swinging your shoulders, when he comes forward, I swing my shoulders, I pull myself away from him. It does me no good. The only thing I did was ran away from him. Okay? So you want the movement to be an advantage to you. Okay? You want to be able to use the movement, not just make the moves. All right? So if you're moving, move from your hips, you can come right back into your game. From right here. You never come out of your true boxer stance. From right here. If he makes an adjustment, you make an adjustment. You see? but you're never coming out of the true boxer stance. The minute I move with my shoulders, he's coming at me and I'm moving my shoulders here, he makes an adjustment, there I am making another move. But I never actually find my offense. Because you, you can't find your offense from here. So if I find 
if he pressures me and I do this, all he has to do is just keep the pressure on. If I don't find the room to find my offense, then I'm unarmed. Basically, I'm unarmed, and I'm hoping that he gives me enough room to reach down and grab my weapons and go. You know? So I don't really want to ask him for anything. You know, that's not, that's not the game. You don't want to be in here asking him to allow you to fight him. You know, you just don't lose him. When you came out of the corner, you had it. When you came out of the corner, you had everything you needed. You relinquished it, and you're going to hope that he allows you to get it back. It doesn't make any sense. If I have it, I'm going to keep it. I don't have to worry about him allowing me to get it back. So if you don't lose your balance, you don't have to find your balance. You don't lose your offensive stance, you don't have to find your offensive stance. Okay? So you're going to stay here following your opponent. If he moves to this side, you're moving out here, but you're keeping this stance here. You want to be conscious of where your feet are and where your hands are. You want to be on him, just like this. Now, the way we do it is, is I call it keeping my rifle on my opponent. Okay? Now, if anybody, you know, you fire a rifle, Put it to your shoulder and you're facing right here, okay? And you already have your stance because you're standing behind this, so the thing doesn't blow you over. This is not how you would hold it, all right? So you're gonna stay here on your opponent. Now as he moves, my feet are gonna move accordingly to keep that rifle on my opponent. You understand? And where a lot of people don't, what messes people up is they don't keep this, this type of alignment. They wanna land this thing so bad that as he moves, they flatten out so that they can land it, and they make themselves a target. So you want to keep this move, this motion here, as if you have a rifle on your opponent. So wherever he moves, you're going to keep your opponent downrange of that rifle. Okay? And if you hit your opponent, it's another thing I want to go over. If you hit your opponent here and he falls back, don't come straight at him here. All right? Because as soon as he falls back here, he creates a line. He creates a line right here. It's as bright as day. And it's a firing line. He is going into his, I'm going to protect myself mode. So as soon as he goes back, he's coming right here. This is all he has. Step down. Keeping your rifle on your opponent. So if you hit him, boom, you come at him here. Be aggressive to the side. Understand? All right, let's clear it out. But you're going to hold that radius because what you're going to do is I want your opponent Take two steps forward, and you change. And then you come back, and you take two steps forward. And I want you to see how, don't cut yourself so short. You got your rifle right here. So you don't want to come this way and take your rifle off of you. You understand? So if I come forward here, that's it. That's where you want to be. And I want you guys to come both sides. One, two, here, come down. There you go. Keep your rifle that way. And then you'll switch up and go back and forth. Just get used to riding that radius, okay? So it takes you out of the mentality of going straight back all the time. Because you can actually, when this guy comes straight at you, you turn this way, you get this push, now you can push 